Hi guys, it's Suzanne HB here, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and today's tutorial is going to be on the subway, which you can see on your screen. It's one that I made up in New York when I was riding the subway on our latest, uh, recent holiday. Um, though, for those of you that don't have special bands, you know, your sweets and silicons and whatever, you can be happy that this one actually works really well, as you can see here, with just standard opaque bands. I'm going to try it today uh, using a sweets one and the deep purple. Um, so I've got Sweets Purple Turquoise, and I've got Deep Purple Opaque Rainbow Loom, um, or Rainbow Loom brand. Uh, this one is a four pin design, um, it can be done on the Monster Tail or the Rainbow Loom, and um, let's get on with it. I hope you don't mind the funky coloured background, I had problems with my lights strobing on the tabletop colour I had. Alright, let's hope you like doing double cap bands because this one has a lot of them. It's going to start off as a standard four pin, I guess it's called a, well it's not actually quad fish, I don't know what you call it because it's, um, it's not actually a fish tail, it's a um, single um, chain, but you know what I mean. You start off with your twisted loop onto each corner for the four pin. And then the next one, it's one band over all four. Lift the bottom band up and over on all four pins, and that'll give you your first starting part. It gives you your base and your um, loops to attach it to at the end. Alrighty. The blue is actually going to be that chain running down the middle, and the purple is going to be the uh, loops hanging out either side. You need four. Uh, of the loop color on the next step and you are going to double cap them on each which you can do either as I'm doing with my fingers which is getting me in the way or you can do it on your hook just twist it round like that grab a hold of it and you can see I don't do this very often I usually use my fingers grab a hold of it and slide it over the peg that way. Now, I must say, I'm not a very neat loomer, as um, some of you may know, but it does help with this design to have your cap bands not all, so see how that one's all, that one's a little bit flatter, this one's all twisted. It does help with this design not to have your cap bands twisted, so if you can have them a little bit flat, either by the way you put them on or give them a little bit of a, a tweak before you do it. It's not going to kill the design, but it, it does make it simpler at the end. Okay, so we've got all four double capped bands on there. The next thing you're going to lay is another band all the way over all the four pins. So the next thing you do is reach inside this top band, push back the cap band, grab the bottom band and lift it over and then you lift the cap band over as well. So we go inside the cap band and over and then the bottom one over as well. Inside the cap band and then the bottom one over as well inside the cap band and then the bottom one over as well so we do the single band lifting over all four pegs again Oops. and lay four cap bands Grab the 
another single band over the top of all four. And go inside the cap band. Sorry, under the top one. Inside the cap band, I grab the bottom band and then lift the cap band over. Inside the cap band under the top and then lift the top one over. Inside, grab that bottom one, bring it over and the top one. Inside and bring the top one over. push down. Alright, one last time going through that because it's a pretty straightforward step. Put all four, sorry, a band over all four pegs. Lift the bottom one up and over. Bottom one up and over on all four. Push down. Cap band, one on each peg. Just doubled. And then another band going around all four pegs. And then we go inside the top, pull the cap band out, lift the bottom end up and over, and then flip the cap band up. Inside the cap band, bottom band up and over, and then lift the cap band up. Please apologise, the noise is in my background. In the background, that's my son. Inside the top band, push the cap band out, grab the bottom band up and over, and then the cap band up and over, and same on this peg. Inside that one, through to the bottom, lift it up and over. And grab the cap band and bring it up and over. So you should have the pattern by now. Now I made a bit of a mistake as I was going through um, so I did a little bit more of the band than you saw me do earlier on. So I've got this um, and sort of squashed in here. So I've actually stretched the first part of the band that I did um, already. I'll see if I can get some to pop out that's not stretched out already. Okay there's some. So you can leave the band with these little bumps sticking out, the smaller bumps sticking out on each of the four sides and just tweak it so that they're even. I think that's a really cute look. I haven't posted that one, um, but that's a really cute look too. I actually really like it with these colours. Or you can do what I did with the subway and stretch out the band. So all I did is I got, I chose two sides and grabbed a hold of the cat bands on this side, the cat bands on this side, and just pulled them out. That's it. So um, I will do some more, and then when I come back, um, I'll show you how I stretch those out. Okay, back again. Sorry about that. Um, I haven't finished the length of the bracelet. I want to finish off the tutorial, and I haven't got time just to just, um, finish off the whole bracelet, but I wanted to bring it back um, so I could show you how to actually finish it off. Um, once you stretch these things down, as I said, you can find each of the four sides and you can make sure each four side, each of the four sides is even, give it a bit of a tweak and you will end up with a really cute little bumpy bracelet or um, you can go to each one having chosen which is going to be your front and back and which one's going to be the pulled sides and go along to each one and this is going to be interesting. This is a good one to demonstrate actually because it's popped out the front more than out the side I'm going to pull. So you just grab a hold of all of those. There's one that wants to hide. Put it in there. Oh, can't get him. The one that just wants, doesn't want to come out. Let's see if we can get the others out and he might follow. Okay, so 
you just get those and pull them out to the side and there he is. Alrighty. Now if you need any more tweaking, you can just use your fingers, use your hook. But basically you're just aiming to get sorry, I'm right in the way. Aiming to get all of those four loops on each side roughly even or you can have kind of a messy look it doesn't really matter it's what you like but if you want a nice smooth look then sort of try and pull them out even like this they'll kind of spring back in a little bit so you'll get that nice dot in the middle of your kind of like circles I guess in the middle there this one's not looking so difficult to do so we'll just give it a little tug a little tug and you'll see it'll actually then lay flat as a bracelet around your wrist like that. So once you've adjusted them all, um, you can just choose which, you, which side you think looks better and use that as the, the front side because it is completely reversible. But it's just whichever side you think looks the neatest. These ones are looking kind of messy, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that because I quite like it. Um, to finish it off, it's very simple. I won't take this one off the loom because I am going to complete it later but all I would do is I would gather each of these loops over onto this peg so I'll do it with it. just gather it over onto that peg and put a C clip through all of those loops at the opposite end you've got your starting loops here so pop it hook through there and you've got those starting loops to hook your C-clip through as well and it will sit nice and flat around your wrist if you pull it around that way. Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, keep your eye out on my channel, Suzanne HB, the one you're on. Give me um, a subscribe to this if you like it. There will be more tutorials coming out and also um, you can follow my Instagram account, Crazy Just Might Work, and I also need to recommend that you keep an eye out on Loves to Loom. Um, she is doing, apart from her own fabulous designs, she is doing quite a few of my designs as well, again, on tutorials on her Loves to Loom um, YouTube channel. So if you subscribe to her, you'll get notification of those, and also check out her Instagram account, which is also Loves to Loom, which is Loves, and a number two, Loom. Alright guys, thanks so much, and I'll catch you later, bye.